For the next 100 days, gamers and I will be trying to trap each other in lots of different ways, with the goal of being the only one left alive. Press lever for three diamonds. Ah! <laughs> oh my... Be sure to leave a like and keep watching to see this epic prank war in hardcore Minecraft. Also, if you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to help me hit my goal of 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But without further ado, let's get straight into day one. Wait. Wait, what? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Get out of my world! I just spawned into this world. So did I. This is mine. You're gonna kill me. It's hardcore. You yeah. can't just be punching me. Good. I want to be alone. Get away. Oh my. My first encounter with gamers left me quite annoyed. Stupid gamers. So I spent the rest of day one thinking of ways to get him out of my world. And in the meantime, I was gathering wood, making tools, and murdering animals for food. And at night, I thought I saw gamers again, but it was just a bee. On the morning of day two, I decided to set a little trap for gamers. So I gathered some wood for a chest and started digging a pit. Then I began waiting for gamers to walk past. And sure enough... Ooh, a chest. What's in here? Wheat seeds and fed... What? What? Oh my... <laughs> I'm almost dead again. Silly gamers. How did you already make this hole? Oh my. Hopefully that scared gamers away. So afterwards, I went looking for a place to build my base. And standing next to these birch trees reminded me of the first ever day of my first 100 days video. Leave a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. I then continued searching for a place to build my base for the next two days. And of course, I murdered a lot of animals along the way. If you press the like button right now, I might consider leaving this baby sheep alive. Three two, one. Oops, it looks like you weren't fast enough. Sorry, baby sheep. And on day five, I found the place where I wanted to build my base. It was perfect because there was absolutely no sign of gamers. And I spent the rest of the day cleaning the place up a bit and collecting some materials. Days six and seven were spent building my starter base. And by the end of day seven, my base had come together quite nicely. That was until this happened. Oh, what the hell? It's, it's... Ah! Uh. <laughs> I was not a happy lockdown life. Day eight was here and it was time to get prepared to do some mining, as I wanted to be prepared for any of gamers future pranks. So to get prepared to go mining, I slaughtered lots of local pigs and made myself a bunch of torches. And the next day, it was time to go mining. Pretty much straight away, I found this zombie spawner. So I lit it up and found lots of gunpowder in the chests. This would definitely come in handy later. Meanwhile, gamers was mining too. The next few days were spent collecting as much iron as I possibly could. And whilst doing this, I was thinking of what my goals would be for these 100 days. And finally, I decided my goals were going to be to kill the ender dragon before gamers, to make a secret base so gamers can't trap me, and to eliminate gamers. Will I be able to complete all of my goals? Keep watching to find out. And on day 12, after returning home and smelting all of my iron, I spotted what looked to be gamers' house. So I waited for him to come out, and then I decided to sneak in and steal some of his items. Hopefully he wouldn't notice. I decided to steal some of his iron so I could make sure that I had more iron than him. Meanwhile, Gamers was minding his own business, chopping down some trees. And then afterwards, I confronted him. Wait, what are you doing here? I just wanted to flex all this lovely iron I got. Uh, well, I've got loads of iron of my own. Mm, Wait. It looks a bit less than mine, actually. Wait, I had like three stacks before. Um... That's pretty strange. Why are you over here then? I don't know. Was this you? Yeah. <laughs> On day 13, gamers and I had a competition to see who could kill the most animals. And not gonna lie, I think I won. As gamers wouldn't kill horses, but I would. Oh, also, gamers scared off a turtle, I was gonna give a torch. So I gave it to a squid instead, but it just wasn't the same. So to get back at gamers, I annoyed him by spam clicking his door and then punching him.
The next day, I started hatching a plan for another prank on gamers. But there was one problem. This prank needed diamonds to make it work. So I spent the entire of day 14 getting prepared to go mining. And on the morning of day 15, I began my journey down to Y level 11. I explored many dangerous caves, but it was all going to be worth it once I found some diamonds. And at one point, I fell in lava and nearly died. But luckily, I was able to use a water bucket to save my life. But a little later, I managed to find myself some diamonds. Then I spent all of day 16 mining a bunch of obsidian. And on day 17, I returned to the surface to murder some slimes. And afterwards, I crafted up all the rest of the materials I would need for the trap. And on day 18, it was time to set the trap. Luckily, Gamers wasn't at his base, so I was easily able to dig up the ground and place the sticky piston. And once Gamers pressed the lever, the piston would retract, and Gamers would fall into this obsidian pit, and hopefully drown surrounded by obsidian. Then I would finally have my world back. Once it was all set up, all I had to do was wait. What's this say? Press lever for three diamonds. Ah! <laughs> oh my! No, what? I'm See drowning. <laughs> is this is this obsidian? Oh my! He just gone. I'm, oh no! I'm actually gonna drown. It's not break. Wait! 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 Oh my. I'm so glad I have this bucket. But now I've still got a mine all the way out of obsidian with an iron pickaxe. Great. I then returned home feeling very accomplished as I thought I'd just killed gamers. But when I got home, I had a surprise waiting for me. Wait, what the... And so I spent the rest of my day murdering baby chickens. Oh, and I captured the last chicken because I thought it was cute and it was a real survivor. By day 20, I was fed up of gamers' pranks, so I wanted a secret base he couldn't fill with chickens. And so I spent the rest of the day thinking of ways to hide my base. The next day, I had settled on a plan for my base, but it would need a lot of materials to make it a reality. So I got to work collecting resources. And by day 23, I had all the resources I would need, including redstone, sticky pistons, and floral decorations to make everything seem a bit more natural. And all that was left to do now was to get to work. At first, the redstone was a bit tricky, but I soon figured it out. Then finally, with the interior done and some outside features to distract people, the secret base was finally finished. On the morning of day 30, I did the boring task of moving all my items from my old base to my new base. Then it was time to see what gamers had been doing. And it looks like he had built a fortress. Well, I see you've been busy. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd build just a little something to keep you out. What have you been up to? Uh, nothing much. Just built a little farm, actually. What, so you haven't even been building a house or anything? Nah, just a nice little farm. Get some crops going. Okay, well, I'm just going to go back to farming. You have fun in your nice little castle. I fell in, I fell in, I fell in a hole. <laughs> on day 31, I spotted gamers spying on me. And I didn't like it. So I chased him off of my land. And then murdered the sheep out of pure anger. I then spent all of day 32 getting that bread. I spent day 33 out in the desert collecting resources for my next prank. I found this desert temple and looted it for all that juicy TNT and gunpowder. 
Then at night, it was time for a nice spot of creeper hunting. Oh, and I also watched this llama spit on a zombie. On day 34, I returned home and began crafting up the items I'd need for the prank. I then spent the rest of the day and the morning of day 35 researching TNT cannons. Then at night, I left my secret base to find some scaffolding on top of my old house. So not thinking, I broke it and lava began to rain down from above. I had fallen for another one of gamers pranks and it looks like my old house was gonna be destroyed. I did my best to try and save it, but there just wasn't enough time. And sadly, the lava burnt it to a crisp. I then spent day 36 getting rid of the lava and plotting my revenge on gamers. Speaking of gamers, I spotted him watching me. And that just made me even more angry. The next day, I woke up to see my base in ruins. And that's when I decided it was time to march upon Gamer's Fortress. I saw him watching me from the battlements, but that wasn't going to stop me. I then quickly constructed a small but very effective TNT cannon. I then unleashed block after block of devastating TNT. Gamers tried to stop me with his bow, but to no avail. And before he knew it, the front of Gamers base was no more. And I had had my revenge. Satisfied with my revenge, I then spent all of day 38 repairing my starter house. Afterwards, I realized my chicken had been burned to death by lava. So I spent the rest of the day mourning my chicken prisoner. <laughs> At this stage, the pranks were getting more and more dangerous. So I was gonna need some more protection, which meant on day 39, it was time to go diamond mining. And when I returned on day 45, I was 43 diamonds richer. Day 46 was spent emptying my inventory and crafting up some lovely diamond gear, which would hopefully protect me from all of gamers' future pranks. And on day 47, I was collecting resources for a secret project. Then the next two days were spent building it, and by day 50, it was ready. Yeah, that's right. I made this giant like button to remind you to hit that like button. And if we hit 100,000 likes, I'll do 200 days and maybe prank another YouTuber instead of gamers. But anyways, let the pranks commence. On day 51, I decided I was going to prank gamers by placing loads of annoying signs all over his base. And on these signs, I'll write some messages that will be sure to get under gamers skin. Oh, and I decided to use oak signs because they're easier to read and they're a different type of wood to what gamers used on his entire base, which I just know will annoy him. So after crafting the signs, I snuck my way into gamers base and began typing out the signs. Here are some of my personal favorites. Gamers, more like lamers, ha 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 ha. There's signs everywhere. And, um nice block. On the morning of day 52, I was in a very good mood. That was until I realized gamers had pulled a prank at my base. What's happening? Why can I hear a bell? Why is it so loud? Ah, here it is. Finally, peace and quiet. Wait, no. There's more. <laughs> no. Ah, here we go. These are so annoying. What the hell? There was another one. And it's even louder. And whilst I was cleaning these up, Gamers was having his own problems. Subscribe to lock. Oh my. You just found signs everywhere. What do they do? They all say subscribe to lockdown. Oh my god, there's literally yeah, there's signs everywhere, yeah. Oh, and if you want to see Gamers' reaction to the rest of the signs, be sure to go and watch his video after mine. I spent the next day preparing to go to the nether. But this creeper didn't want to let me go. So I put an axe in his head. And after a little bit more preparing, I was ready to go to the nether. And on day 54, I arrived in the nether. I spawned in one of these blue biomes, which meant two things. I'm surrounded by endermen, and also these really cool vines are everywhere. 
And after a little bit of exploring, I noticed a portal that wasn't mine. And when I got closer, I saw gamers. Hey, what are you doing here? This is my nether. I just came for a portal up there. My portal's down there. You know I'm going to find the nether fortress before you, right? No, you're not. Yes, I am. Okay, well, we'll see about that. Yes, we will. Oh, and then I did this cool stunt. Look at this, gamers. I'm sick. Afterwards, we both did some more exploring, and we stumbled across this place where all the mobs were spawning. It was very strange, but we decided to leave the mobs for now and focus on trying to be the first one to the nether fortress. Oh, and at one point, I decided to do my best dream impression. And to be honest, I was pretty happy with it. Let me know if you can do this in the comments down below. On day 58, we found the fortress. Wait, where are you going? I found the fortress. <laughs> hey, what the? Ah! Yes! No, <laughs> no, oh no, no, my no, God. no, no. No, get away. Get up. I want it first. No, no, I'm going to die. <laughs> Yes! No. So I was the first one into the fortress and the first one to the blaze spawner. I then tried to hide it from gamers by blocking up the wall. But a stupid blaze gave me away. And gamers was now here at the blaze spawner too. Let the battle for blaze rods commence. By day 59, we both had enough blaze rods. And I set out to explore the nether fortress. I got myself some terrible chests and even some nether warts. And on day 60, I spent my time making my way back to the portal. And when I was home, I went straight to sleep. And on day 61, I realized I wanted to improve my base. So I spent the day getting stacked on resources. And on day 62, I began working on the improvements. By day 65, my underground lair was complete. I even installed this hidden chest so gamers couldn't steal my diamonds. And then on day 66, it was time to set another trap. For this trap, gamers would step on a pressure plate and a redstone signal would be sent to this dropper. Then this dropper would drop one single block onto the wooden pressure plates below, which would then cause TNT to blow up the bridge. Then on the morning of day 67, gamers approached. Um. Well, I came outside to look at how my base looks, but then I saw this giant thing that I'm guessing... What? What? No! Oh my. Don't hide in that little hole. Come out. <laughs> Day 68 was here, and after getting away with another successful prank, I decided to reward myself by getting a dog. Though I spent the day searching for one. Whilst looking, I casually murdered this family of cows, and it felt good. Then, a little while later, I finally got myself a dog. And OG Lockdown Life fans will already know what his name is. Then later on, I decided to let Mark stay in the starter house for now. He looked happy enough with it. On day 69, I headed out to get some cows. But meanwhile, Gamers was busy making some shape-shifting potions. And I was very unaware of this. And so when I finally returned home with my cows on day 70, I went to check on Mark and he was acting a bit strange. Do, 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 do. Good boy, Mark. Wait, why does it not let me... Wow! Ah, ah, what, what, what the hell? Mark! What are you doing? <laughs> Leave me alone. What? What? <laughs> Goodbye. So it turns out that Mark was just gamers using some kind of weird potion. But that still begs the question, where was the real Mark? And that's when I heard it. A very muffled bark coming from somewhere near the starter house. So I dug down in the corner where I left him, and sure enough, there he was. I was very happy to see Mark alive, but I was extremely angry at gamers for what he did. So on day 71, I spent the day plotting my revenge on gamers. And on day 72, I began acting out my plan. First, I snuck past gamers and got into his base. Then I searched his chests and brewing stands until I found the shape-shifting potions. Ah, so that's how he did it. And before leaving, I took a shape-shifting potion for myself. 
And the next day, I found a villager, splashed myself with the potion, and before I knew it, I was a villager. Now, it was time for my revenge. Oh. Hello, villager. Hmm. What? Hmm. <laughs> what? How has he got a diamond sword? Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, no. Hmm. I'm going to die. I'm going to die to a villager. Hmm. But then the effects of the potion faded. Wait, did you steal one of my potions? Hmm. Game has managed to escape with his life this time, but I knew this couldn't go on much longer. He went way too far when he brought Mark into this. However, I decided to take a break from pranking, so the next few days were pretty relaxing. Days 74 and 75 were spent murdering things and just getting as much XP as I could, as well as maintaining my sugarcane farm. Then on day 76, I set up my enchanting room and made myself all the bookshelves and the enchanting table itself. And then day 77 was spent making it look nice and getting myself some beefy enchants. And on day 78 and 79, I was back to murdering things for XP, so I could get the best enchants possible. After completing my enchants on day 80, I decided to head out of my base. <sighs> wait, wait, what? I'm stuck in a box. What even happened? I swear there wasn't water on the floor. Oh my god. How am I gonna get out? I've got like barely any blocks. God damn it. When I finally made it back up to the surface, Gamers was gone. I could have sworn Gamers was here. So I returned to my secret base where it was safe. The next few days were spent collecting ender pearls in the nether dimension. I killed a lot of endermen. So many in fact that the endermen were nearly extinct and Gamers and I had to fight over a few of them. I even managed to steal one of Gamer's ender pearls and complete the 12 that I would need. Shortly afterwards, Gamer's tried to kill me by breaking my vine, but luckily I was able to clutch. This definitely annoyed Gamer's, as I was able to go back home first and craft up my ender eyes. Then on day 84, it was time to start preparing for another trap on Gamer's. I gathered a bunch of lava and then headed out of my base. But little did I know, Gamers was watching me, and he now knew where my secret base was. But I was dangerously unaware. And on day 85, I began constructing the lava trap at Gamers' base. This trap would involve Gamers being surrounded by lava. And if he broke any of the surrounding blocks, lava would flow in and kill him. So I was pretty confident that I was going to kill Gamers this time. So on the morning of day 86, I returned to my base. And this happened. Wait, what? How? It looks like gamers had somehow found my base. And I definitely wasn't expecting this. I could only hope the same for gamers. What's that seat? Lockdown life was hit. Oh my. No. The next day, I didn't feel safe in my base anymore. So I decided to listen to some music with Mark to relax me. And on day 88, I was ready to fight. So I murdered some cows for XP and then got myself a power 4 and breaking 3 bow. Afterwards, it was target practice time. And I thought to myself, what better targets than gamers cows? It turns out I was pretty accurate and left him with only one cow. Then the next day, I got myself a nice fast horse. I then left him to look after all the baby cows and I thought it looked pretty funny. All of day 90 was spent mining obsidian and getting a bunch of lava for one final trap to get rid of gamers. Then the next two days were spent building the final trap. And on day 93, I decided it was time to go and kill the ender dragon. So I quickly gathered all the items I'd need, said goodbye to Mark and set off on horseback towards the stronghold. And after some arduous traveling, I noticed Gamers was nearby. And that could only mean one thing. He was planning to kill the Ender Dragon before me. But I wasn't going to let that happen. And so began the race to the Ender Dragon. 
We had to cross a vast ocean to find the stronghold, which meant we had to leave our horses behind. We were at sea for many days and many nights looking for the stronghold, all whilst fighting each other along the way. Until on day 98 we broke our way into the stronghold, and then straight away began tirelessly looking for the portal. Deadly mobs were killed, and I ran into gamers at every turn, but eventually we both managed to wander into the portal room. So we raced to fill in the portal, and then on day 99, we took the plunge into the end. All right. Where even are we? Oh my, if we fall, we're dead. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm just getting on your path. <laughs> no, what the hell? That's cheating. I didn't trust, I didn't trust myself. Oh, I'm sick. Do you even have slay for this? I don't need it. I can clutch. Mm. Yeah, I didn't have time. I was busy pranking people. I can't hit anything. Yeah, cage one. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you having a bit of trouble there? Shut up. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> then it like maybe go in. Oh, I just hit one from miles away. I haven't hit a single one yet. What am I dying to? Oh, dragon breath. Oh, dragon breath nearly killed me. I want to get one at least. Let me get one. Come on. Yes, I got that. I got it. No, you didn't. I, <laughs> it was actually mine. No, you got it. Oh my. <laughs> How did I not get a single one? Oh, I got that one as well. Are Wait, they all gone now? I'm pretty sure they're all gone. Oh! <laughs> You're gonna die! Come on, Enderman! Ah! Oh. Ow! Oh, I'm dying! Stop trying to shoot me! Ow! Oh, I'm gonna die! You just got yeeted! Ow! Oh! Oh! No! Yes! Come on, it's so low! Oh, it's so close! Oh, I'm drinking my next strength for when it comes down. Oh! Oh, it's so close! No, it's mine! It's really mine! Ah! ah. Come down! What Please. are you doing, dragon? Yes! Oh, oh yes! <laughs> Ow! Come on! No! Yes! Let's no. go! And on day 100, some tension was lifted, and we fought over the egg. No! No! <laughs> I had it! Wait, I didn't even look. Yes! And then when we got back home to the overworld, we decided to meet up and talk. Hey, so what's this about a truce? So I was thinking, now that the dragon's dead and we've completed all of our goals, why don't we have a nice little truce? Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Yeah, alright. Okay, I'll see well, you soon then. See ya. Actually... What? Ah! No! <laughs> Why would you do this? This video took a very long time to make, so please remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. But anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.